Hello Dynamic Stars. It's Azurite 22 coming to you from a park. I just decided let me come out and enjoy the afternoon sun. It's not so hot. For all of those who are new to my channel, hello, welcome. Azurite 22 here. What do we do here? We always bring our intuition to the fore to bring you more into your life. We do that with a lot of pick a card readings, a lot of talks about spirituality. Uh, we also have a few meditations and uh, I'm gonna be doing more things with meditations coming up, guided meditations, because I find that they help a great deal. You don't have to do a whole lot, just sit, breathe and listen. So that's coming up for you very soon. Later this week, it's going to be coming. But um, today's pick a card reading is just a very quick one. We are going to just check what's going on today. It's going to be a one card reading and just light, simple, nothing earth shattering. What's happening? What's the message for today? We're going to do three things. Excuse the ambient noise. I'm around a bunch of children in a playground. I just wanted that light bubbly energy with the energies of what's happening in the world for me being in a playground filled with children and laughter it just buoys the energies it helps you to yoke into that lighter more innocent vibe and keeps those energies high and sometimes that's just what we need to do we need to put ourselves in environments where it just feels different. It feels better for us. This helps us. So today we're going to be using the Orisha Tarot. And uh, it's a little different from regular tarot. It focuses on what the Orisha of the Yoruba Pantheon, Santeria Pantheon, have to say. So... Let's go. All right, today, the three picks, we're gonna have a citrine, it's card one, black tourmaline, two, and a pen, three. For those of you who are not too familiar with pick of cards, you don't have to watch the whole video. You pick one of the three items and then down below in the description box, I'll have timestamps so you can go directly to your reading and just listen to your reading, okay? So take a deep breath. Ooh. Let it go one more time. One is a citrine. Two is the black tourmaline. And three, a pen. Citrine. Tourmaline. Pen. For those of you who chose this is tree. We have the tower. So of course with the tower, whatever it is your hand you're dealing with at this moment, it has reached a point where things are not going the way that you may feel they should. Things are kind of crumbling, they're falling apart. They are transforming, transmuting, so that you can see things that maybe you don't want to see. Things that could be extremely beneficial for you. Because in the middle of all that destruction, there is something growing, something new, something budding. What is it that you don't want to see go away 
whether it's that relationship, whether it is that job, that gig, because I'm feeling like maybe there's something that you were doing on the side that you were really passionate about that is not going the way you wanted it to go, that it's falling away possibly due to what's happening in the world right now. It's time to allow it to go the way it wants to because something is bigger and better coming for you, but you have to release it. You know how the monkey gets caught by putting his hand in the bottle to get the fruit or the piece of candy or the bright bauble? He closes his hand, right? And once you close your hand, you can't pull it out. By releasing your hand, you can take it out and go for the bigger, more better thing that is out there. And you can't even think about that other thing because you're so focused on what's in this bottle, the limited thing. So for those of you who receive that, this card, also focus on the citrine. Let that thing go because the citrine is, it's a stone that brings abundance. It brings, it attracts wealth. It attracts good health. It attracts those things that you're looking for, those things that you want. You're not going to get those good things if you keep holding on. Have the faith to know that what you need will be there for you. Okay? Hope you enjoyed that reading. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. For those of you who chose the black tourmaline, we have the Ace of Discs. This card is telling you that there is something new coming. This is the beginning of something brand new. It is a seed. This card corresponds to Osain. Osain is the god of plants, green things, herbs. And with this card, I'm sorry, with this Orisha in uh, the Santeria Yoruba traditions, you can't do any kind of ceremony initiations without Osain being a part of it. The plants are key. So for every new beginning, you start off with a cleaning, with the herbs, with the plants. So for those of you who receive this reading, you also have the black tourmaline. Use the black tourmaline for protection of this new thing. Use your intuition. Sit down quietly and ask, what is it that I need to do at this time to nurture the growth of this new project, this new job, this new relationship, this new venture, this new idea, this new book, this new gaming app, whatever it is that you're doing. If you don't have an idea, the idea soon will come and you need to ask your intuition, what is it that I need to expand into to help me fully grow and develop as I should? This card to me is saying, whether if you haven't, you need to go into a new area to develop and to grow and expand. This is new and will help you to get to the next level. Maybe you've been feeling like you're at a plateau and there, it's boring wherever you are. This is now the time for you to go into it and really delve and explore a new area. Use the black tourmaline to protect what you're doing. Don't speak too much about it to anyone but your most trusted friends. And right now I would say even leave that alone. Just, just work on it, just start doing it, get more into it, find out how to do it. Because this is going to be something that will change your life if you allow it. So enjoy this, work on this, keep yourself clean and clear. Don't even have self-doubt. If you feel yourself doubting, put it to the side. Go, you know, give yourself a time and a day to doubt and only for 10 minutes. 
So every Thursday at 2.15, I can doubt for 10 minutes and give all of the bad ideas and the what ifs and the wherefores and it won't work. Do that. Pick a day and time and a limited amount of time. And then that's the only time you can do that and keep moving forward with this project. Okay? Hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. All right. For those of you who chose the pen, it just fell out. For those of you who chose the pen, we got six of wands. The story of this is, it's a proverb in the Odu that says the dog, the dog has four legs but can only walk one road. So you have to pick a road, pick a way and follow that way. And in fact, there are several questions, three questions for you to ask yourself. Who are you? Where are you coming from? Where do you want to be? And knowing all three answers is going to help you with that. Because you can't know what your path is, what your road is, what you're doing, what you're not doing, if you don't know basically who you are, what your bound boundaries are, what your beliefs are, what you will stand up for, what you will not uh, stand up for. Because what did they say? <laughs> if you don't believe in something, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. So self-awareness, self -awareness, self -awareness. sorry about that. Um, you have to know who you are, where you are, where you're going in order for you to understand. This card talks about using divination in order to see your next steps. So for those of you who got this, you, you're at a crossroad. There's something going on here. Look at that. Look at the crossroads. The dog is there. You can go this way or you could go that way. You could go the other way. Where are you going? What are you doing? What do you want? You have to decide that first. And if there is a question of, well, I could go here, I could there, you got to do a reading to see what it is you want. Because if you don't figure out what you want, you're just going to derail yourself. You're going to waste time. Or worse, you're just going to spin your wheels. So this card is telling you, you've got to find your direction. It's interesting. You've got the pen. The pen can write down lots of things, it can write down a to-do list, it can write down pros and cons. You have a tool. Use the tool in order to help you move further. This tool can also help you to remember because maybe some of the greatest ideas you, you forgot because you're moving too fast. So maybe what this is also talking about in your case is you have so many ideas, you're not capturing them as well. And if you're not capturing them, you forget and you, you're spinning your wheels. It's the same thing. So extend it, figure out where you want to go, write stuff down to keep it in memory so you don't forget it, and or prioritize what's most important to you because you can do many things. That's what it's feeling like from this card. But you have to decide, only you can decide what you're going to do how you're going to do it you're probably going to need further readings you're probably going to have to either go to a reader get a deck figure out your own divination system and work through it so that you know each step of the way that you are following your ori as well as what your spiritual family wants for you all right i hope you enjoyed this reading please do like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.